Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, Chris Wilson with Bubba Schlater, uh, Seven Minutes for Seniors. This is our fifth and final segment. Um, Bubba, we're going to put a put a nice bow on this. All right. All right. So, um, who would you want to meet if you had an opportunity to meet anybody, living or dead? Who would you want to meet, either personally or professionally, or both? Well, golly, that's that's a tough one because, I mean, you know, I mentioned Meriwether Lewis. I'd right. love to sit down with that guy. Um, Where would you be? Would you be at the Continental Divide at the moment that he? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I got a question uh, for you. <laughs> I want a I want a direct quote of what you said when you looked over the other side. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I admire people that I like. To talk to. I mean. George Washington uh, it is just infatuates me. I've read several biographies on him. Um, Robert Lee, uh, Ulysses Grant, uh, some of the people that I admire. Bedford Forrest, mm -hmm. who uh, who was said to be one of the two geniuses that came out of the Civil War, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, modern politicians. Uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm not bashful about saying I'm very conservative, but I would. I've always thought I'd like to sit down and talk to Bill Clinton. Yeah. He's an interesting guy. So he would be one. Uh, you know, Trump. I'd love to sit down with Trump. I'd but talk Clinton, to anybody. Clinton, yeah. or, Clinton or Trump, they they gotta be fun guys. Oh yeah. To hang with. Oh yeah. Either one. Of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so who would you want to meet professionally? Who could who could further your your interests, your endeavors professionally? There's got to be a golden um, goose out there, right? Going back to what Fletch said, who's the golden goose for you that would? Well, I think the guy that I originally, when I decided to come into this industry, and I, I reached out and, and hired a coach, and his name is Thomas Day. He's out in um, Salt Lake City. And he's written more books on elder care, financial stuff than anybody I've ever heard of. Yeah. So certainly he, I guess he's kind of a, a mentor. Um, Have you spoken directly to him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you've never yeah. met face to face. We never met face to face. He was kind of, I hired him as a coach. Okay. You know. Yeah. To, I have one of those. He, well, they're, I mean, you know, yeah. gosh, my, you're crazy if. If you don't reach out for mentors. Oh, yeah. Yep. And I've been very fortunate um, in this line of work. I've had a couple of elder law attorneys that uh, I've been uh, associated with that we kind of work together, help each other out. They've yeah. Been in the business a long time. So, um, so, uh, so them. Um, professionally, I don't know. I think that would be as far as mentors. Yeah, go. yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm never bashful about reaching out for advice. Yeah. You know, like like you like Fletch said today, there's always something you can learn. Yeah. If you ever think you know it all, you're pretty doggone. You're too arrogant for me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that I, that's cool. It's, it's funny that you brought that up because I was I was searching for somebody that could help me because I'm very very strong clinically and I and I think I have a, a good personality. I can talk to anybody. Sure. Um, but my problem is that I'm not very good on the business side of things. So I needed somebody to kind of coach me up on that side of it. So, yeah. Um, and then last question: Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I'm 70, so so when I hit 75, I'll be of the uh, I'll be old enough to run for president of, okay. of the United States. <laughs> so you know, uh, so I may do that. What, that'll what is that? Take care of 75 to 85. So what's that? That's going to be 85. Bubba, I may want to retire. Bubba 2030. Is that what go. we're doing? There you go. Got, Wait, no, the math doesn't yeah. work. Bubba works. Bubba is a good name to have in politics down south. Yeah, I don't know how it doesn't play well on a on a national thing. I get a kick out of uh, I, I you know I work I cover St. Augustine like yeah. you do, and a lot of my clients out there are retired, 
uh, and they're usually from New York and New Jersey. Yeah. And one of the things I get when I show up at their, because I make house calls. Right. I, I show up at their door and they say, and I'll have my, you know, this is my uniform. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, I wasn't expecting a Bubba to look like that. <laughs> so I don't know if Bubba, Bubba uh, carries that good a name nationwide. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't. I it's don't. Pretty familiar, friendly name down south. Yeah, I don't think I have a. I don't think I have a picture in my head of a Bubba. I, I guess I've known you long enough that when I see people say Bubba, so, then I just think of you, right? It's either that or Bubba Gump. Well, talking you know, about the crawfish it's, it's, and. Forrest Gump, right? <laughs> it's a good name to have for brand recognition. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're yeah. still you're still going to be working in but five it, but years. But anyway, seriously, in five years, blah, blah, yeah, I'd love to be. You're still going to be doing this. You know, God willing. I hope okay. So. All right. Um, what about ten years? I just love saying. You'd be eighty. Yeah. You're still going to be out here doing this. I hope so. Yeah. I hope still be good for you. I hope to still be climbing mountains at age. Yeah. Who knows what God's got in well, store? Well, you, you keep doing all of or those least, physical uh, things, and then these uh, these these cognitive things stick around, right? Well, I tell people, ask me, my granddaughter. I was with her this past weekend. Granny, hey, when are you gonna retire? I said, I'm gonna die with my boots on. Yeah. Or I want to die with my. You're boots gonna on. die with your boots on. So hopefully, I'll be working and. You know, I think that'd be that'd be ideal. I've had somebody tell me be, before they don't golf and they don't drink, so there's no reason to retire. <laughs> yeah. Right? There's a good, that's, that is a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not into – I'm even though I, I enjoy outdoor activities, I, I don't mind yard work. But, you know, I, I don't want to – I don't want to be stuck with the only thing I can do is garden. Yeah, yeah. But golf doesn't interest me that no. much. So – you know, when I quit, when I quit drinking, I found out I didn't even like golf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, I, Bubba, I really appreciate your time. Thanks All for right, being thanks. on Seven Minutes for Seniors. Y'all check it out. Go check out Bubba's website. Uh, go follow him. And uh, if you know anybody in the area that can use his assistance. Uh, feel free to reach out to him. All of his contact information is coming up next. Thank you very well, much. Thank you, Chris, and you're a good friend and uh, a uh, huge asset to the elder community in Northeast Florida. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, bud. Yes, sir. Y'all right. have a good day. See you. Awesome. Well, that was fun. Simple, right? <laughs>